guys and welcome to my very first YouTube video um, and to my channel. Um, I'm super excited to start this new YouTube journey. Um, I've had so much encouragement and positive words um, to start this so I'm really excited to get everything going and post more videos. Um, I'm definitely gonna have some grocery hauls hopefully this weekend um, that I'll post and meal plans, recipes, maybe some fitness and makeup stuff. I'm not sure yet, but um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys wanna see um, for however many of you um, want to watch. Um, anyway, if you don't know me, my name is Rebecca. Um, I am a mom, I have two boys. Um, Paxton is almost four and Kai is 10 months, almost one. Um, and I also am married to a man named Philip. <laughs> insert picture here, um, for almost, or over four years now. So anyway, yeah, this is kind of just our life, our journey. And um, I love sharing it with people, you know, um, I love cooking and doing all that amazing fun stuff. So today I'm going to do a recipe. This is one of my go-to make-ahead dinners, um, especially since I'm hitting the gym tonight. Um, this is definitely a great meal to make ahead of time, you know, the day before over the weekend and then do it, you know, then eat it the next day. Um, it's going to be spaghetti squash um, bolognese, so it's like a meat sauce, um, but instead of pasta, I use spaghetti squash. So since I am very low carb um, and I'm dieting or, you know, whatever you want to call it, macro counting, um, I do that. A lot of times I do make carb filled meals for, you know, the boys because they're not on any type of, you know, diet, um, but I am. So anyway, they all seem to love it, or at least Philip does. So um, I definitely make this every week or every other week. Um, it's super easy, delicious, cheap, all the above. So anyway, uh, I'm super excited. If you um, want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with whoever you feel like you should. And thank you so much for watching, and let's get to the recipe. Okay, so sorry if the lighting is a little off, still trying to fix it with my camera, but um, I'm going to go through the ingredients really quick. Um, it's not that many, and then I'll go through kind of the step-by-step -step process because um, there's not very many steps, so let me run through. Um, obviously, the very first one is grass-fed um, ground beef. Um, normally, I shop at like Costco or Trader Joe's, but I was actually at Walmart. Um, this weekend because my husband was out of town so I didn't want to run to like eight different stores so I actually found this at Costco for pretty cheap um, and it's grass-fed and organic so it's really good quality um, and it's 8515 so that's pretty good it still has good flavor but it's still lean so I use that um, for the meat I use the farmers market marinara sauce um, I know you can make your own marinara sauce which normally I make everything from scratch but I find that the pre-made marinara sauce is actually more flavorful, especially if it cooks over a long period of time. So this one I just like specifically and I'm not gonna pay $10 for a jar of you know, sauce. So this one is like only three or four bucks and um, it's really good. Also, um, I use two different kinds of cheese to add more flavor. So I'll put in the grated Parmesan cheese um, into the sauce and then I'll top it with the Belgioso um, shredded Parmesan because it also makes a difference if you use fresh Parmesan instead of all just grated. It's, you know, I just find that it's better this way. So I use both. Plus my son, you know, likes this on his regular pasta. So I buy that anyway. Um, I use one and a half onions because my husband's obsessed with onions. So one apparently isn't enough, but I'm sure one is sufficient if you're making it. Um, uh, I just use one and a half, so and then just cut it up super small. Um, I also use fresh garlic. This minced garlic is from Costco. Um, it's amazing, and as you can see, I've got it like four months ago, and I still have a ton left. This is probably gonna definitely last me all year, so it's a great purchase if you go to Costco. Um, also, I put in butter um, to the sauce when I uh, for the ground beef um, to add more flavor. Um, I can have a good amount of butter and fats with my macros, so it just tastes better and there's no carbs. Um, I always use Kerrygold because it's the best. I do not buy margarine because that's just eating straight crap. So I choose Kerrygold because it is amazing and you can taste the difference. 
Um, you can get this at Costco in bulk for like eight bucks or something like that, and you get a ton, so I recommend that. Also, I use Frank's hot sauce. Sounds weird, but it adds kind of a little extra flavor and spice into my marinara sauce, so I love doing a couple dashes of that. Um, and then obviously the spaghetti squash is the main one. Um, it's actually not even that much. I think it's like a dollar a pound or something like that, and it's only like two or three pounds maybe. I'm not sure, but it's not expensive. And I will show you how to cook this, super easy. Um, so I obviously have this. You can use regular pasta if you want, um, of the linguine or spaghetti pasta or anything like that, um, or many different types of pasta you could use, but I just use this because it's healthier, so. And then let's just do go over some of the spices that I use. So I do a little bit of the Cajun seasoning because I put this in everything, honestly, it's amazing. Bought that at Fry's. Um, a hint of salt, even though my husband hates salt, don't tell him, I put a little salt in there, just a little. And then I do some organic chicken seasoning. Um, I know it's beef, but I love the flavors that are in this. Um, of course, pepper, got it from Costco, amazing deal, and I go through pepper like water. Um, also, I use some Moroccan thyme, or regular thyme, whatever, um, but it's just really good and super fresh, but it's dried. Um, I also use some avocado oil. I honestly just think this is so much healthier and better for you than olive oil, and I hate the smell of olive oil, so um, I love this stuff also from Costco for like eight bucks, super cheap and really good for you. And lastly, I use crushed red pepper. Um, it just brings out the flavor, gives it a little heat. It's just perfect, so I put a couple dashes of that in there and we're good. So now I'm gonna run you through all the steps once you um, get the pans heated. So let's go do that. Okay, so I put in two tablespoons of butter and it's now heated. So I'm going to add all of this onion and then I will put in the garlic and the beef and start to stir. Okay, so while the onions are searing off in the pan with the garlic, um, I'm going to poke holes in uh, my spaghetti squash um, and what that does is that it releases steam when it's in the microwave so it doesn't like explode and all that. Um, I don't put it in the oven just because it takes forever to cook and I just nobody has time for that so um, it's actually the best way to get the spaghetti squash nice and soft um, to put it in the microwave for I would say about eight minutes so I do like five minutes take it out let it rest for a second and then put it back in for like another four minutes something like that um, just depends on how big your spaghetti squash is if it's small maybe less time than that if it's large then probably a little bit more time but yeah you'll know when it's ready because this all of this will be like squishy so I'm gonna do that now okay so now it is done so I'm gonna add all the seasonings to the beef um, once I put the beef in and let that sit for a little while and then um, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so my spaghetti squash is in the microwave and I will show you kind of what my beef looks like now. Um, I've been stirring it and kind of mashing it up a little bit so it's in little tiny pieces. Um, so it should look something like this. Um, I'm going to start to add the rest of my seasonings and kind of just turn the heat down and let it rest um, and then I'm gonna add my uh, marinara sauce. Okay, so one of my tips for my bolognese sauce is I don't pour the whole can in because it tends to be over tomato-y um, and I like mine more meaty, it just has more flavor and when I just add so much sauce, it's just too runny and I don't like it. So I only use half the can and as you can see, it just looks really good right now. It's not super tomato-y and runny. Um, it's more meaty, and um, that's just how I like it. Um, and I did add a little bit of the grated Parmesan, so um, yeah, it should look something like this. So now the beef has been simmering for a little while, um, and now the spaghetti squash is cut open. So you'll just take your fork and um, just scoop out the inside, throw it in the trash, and then you're ready to take your fork and scrape 
all of this out and put it in a bowl to serve. Okay, so I've taken out all of the seeds and you kind of just scoop it like this with your fork and you just get everything out. It should be hot enough to where it just slides right out and you plate it in a bowl and then you pour that on top once it's done and you are all done. Okay, so I hope I filmed enough of how to make it, kind of what to do, and hopefully it makes sense for everyone. Um, I tried to, you know, not make it too long to where it's annoying. So anyway, pretty much you just kind of scoop out the spaghetti squash, you put it in a bowl, and then once you're, you think the sauce is done, I usually let it simmer or sit for like an hour um, and then eat it later that night. That way the juices kind of um, sink in and it's just really good. I put a little bit of butter on the spaghetti squash and then pour the sauce over it. Top with some Parmesan and you're set. Um, I would show it in some really pretty plating, but of course it's going into Tupperware so that my husband can have it tonight while I go to the gym. Um, I'm fasting tonight, so I'm just having my shake right now to get myself ready for the gym later on. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please comment and like, um, like it and let me know what recipes you want me to make and show. I pretty much make everything. Um, I'm so excited to post my next video, so stay tuned and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.